Hello everyone. Uh, as you know that I am doing quality uh, previous year question. I have started from 1979 and in the previous video I have completed the question of 1994. Today we are going to see the questions. Actually from this year uh, we will see the topic wise. It will not be it. Obviously it will be year wise but topic wise. Okay so first we will talk about constitution. So today we are going to see the question of 1995 and 1996 from the constitution topic. Okay, so this question is only from the civil services examination. No other examination I have taken, only civil services examinations. Okay, so this is about myself. I did my master from IIT Bombay. Uh, so let's see the questions from 1995 and 1996. Okay, so the first question of 1995 is which of the following are extra constitutional uh, extra legal device for security? and coordination between the state in India okay so options national development council NDC uh, the government conference the governor conference sorry uh, once I have conducted this question okay. I was working in south or uh, journal council and uh, inter-district council so we'll see that uh, uh, NDC and Governor Conference. Okay, this journal uh, journal council and inter, inter state council is no answer is A. Okay. Next question: uh, Which of the following are matters on which constitutional amendment is possible only with rat ratification of the legislature? If not less than one half of a state, okay, election of president, representation of a state in parliament, list in seventh schedule, abolition of legislative council in state. Okay, so they are asking about, uh, I mean, you know, take the, I mean, ratification of legislature of not less than one fifth of the state. Okay, so in which matter this is this has been we need to consider. I mean for the constitutional amendment. Okay, so out of which thing if they are going to do the amendment of you know constitutional amendment, so they has to take consent of legislature of not less than one fifth of state. If it is you know lesser, then it will not be done. So it is actually you know the election of president, representation of or state in parliament no this is wrong actually no this is uh, nothing related to with this list of seven schedule yes and abolition of legislative council in state yes this is also correct so the answer is okay so the representation of state in, in the parliament is nothing to related with this so the answer is see if you know this like two you can see you can if if you know that uh, 2 is wrong, you can easily eliminate 3 options. Wherever 2 is there, you can easily eliminate, you will get the answer. Okay. So you can use the elimination method, method as well. Now next question, uh, we will see here. A council of state, house of people. Okay, not more than 250, not more than 550, not more than 238, not more than 350. A representative of a state and union directories, a representative of state not more than two nominated Anglo Indian plus. Okay, plus. So, which of the following was fit in place X? So, they are asking what is X? So, we will see the option minister who are not member of parliament but who has not, who has to get themselves elected to either house of parliament within six months of six months after assuming office okay not more than 20 nominated members not more than 20 representative of union territories the attorney general uh, general uh, who had who has the right to speak and taken part in the proceeding of the either house of parliament okay it is actually you know it is actually see not this but in house of people uh, the nominated anglo indians 
plus see not more than 20 representative of union territories okay so if the answer is representative of union territories because okay, so two anglo indian plus so mps i mean you know in lok sabha mps should be i mean maximum 20 should not be more than 20 from the union territory you know that how many ter union territories we have so out of all the uh, union territory it is uh, 20 okay so you just check that since you know the state of jammu and kashmir converted into ladakh union territory of ladakh and kashmir so how many MPs will be from there whether this number has been changed 20 to you know lesser or more you please check that this next question who among the following uh, have the right to vote in the election of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha elected member of lower house of parliament elected member of upper house of the parliament elected member of upper house of the state legislature elected member of lower house of the state legislature this is actually a uh, elected member of lower house of state okay state legislature okay so they, they actually participated in the um, right to vote in the election of both lok sabha and rajya sabha okay you can write here as uh, in uh, indians follows the universal adult suffrage elect, elected member of lower house of the state legislature that is Vidhan Sabha that is uh, has have the right to vote in the election in both the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha the state legislature besides making law also have one electoral power in the election of president of India okay so you know that when the election of president is taking place so state legislature members also vote for that Okay, elected member of legislature is to assembly along with the elected member of parliament are in, involved in, the, in this process. So that's why uh, this is correct. Okay, so we have to take the example of my election of president. Next question. Now, which one of the following state of India does not have legislative council even even though the constitution 7th amendment act 1956 provides for it maharashtra bihar karnataka madhya pradesh okay to answer this question it is madhya pradesh you know that in maharashtra bihar and karnataka they already have the uh, council of state i mean less to council okay so there are only five states with you know by communal legislature Legislative Assembly as well as Legislative Council, UP, Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Jammu and Kashmir. See, now Jammu and Kashmir is not there, okay, uh, because it has been converted into, uh, what do you say, U UT, okay. So that's why this is not the correct answer. Only four. Article 156 of the Constitution of India provides that a governor shall hold office for a term of five years uh, from the date on which he entered upon his office. Uh, which of the following can be reduced from him? Reduced from him. Okay, no governor can be moved from off from office till completion of his term. No governor can uh, continue in office beyond five years okay so actually uh, this all is wrong both is wrong okay this is actually based on pleasure of president so that's why this is actually wrong so according to uh, article 156 the governor shall hold office during pleasure of the president okay i told you it is the nothing is related with these two the governor may by writing under his hand address to the president or design his office subject to the foregoing provision of this article a governor shall hold for a term of five years from the date on which he enters upon his office provided that a governor shall not withstanding the expiration of his term continue or to hold office until 
successor enters upon his office. Okay, so I mean, five year you can say that, but actually it is pleasure of you know president. Suppose uh, the next governor is not nominated for that, uh, not decided for that particular state, so um, the existing government uh, governor will continue as a governor for that particular state. Okay, next question. What, what is not explicitly for state in the constitution of India but followed as convention? Okay, we'll see that. The finance minister is to be a member of lower house. The prime minister has to resign if if he lose majority in the lower house. All sections of of India are to be represented in the council of ministers. Uh, if both president and vice president demit dem office simultaneously before the end of the tenure, speaker of of the lower house of the parliament will officiate as the president. Okay, so what are the not explicitly stated in the constitution of India but followed as convention? It is actually you know we. Prime Minister has to resign if low or uh, if if he loses majority in the lower house. Okay, see, this is not written in the, uh, not explicitly stated in the constitution, but this is convention. Like you no, know, obviously, uh, why this is because you know that okay, like if there is no majority in the Lok Sabha lower house, then president automatically he has to. I mean, the government will fall. Okay, the president has to. I mean, you know. The entire cabinet will resign. I mean, once the president will resign, the entire cabinet will resign. So this is actually convention. So the similar thing happened in the state also. Like if there is no majority, then you know chief minister has to resign, and the entire cabinet minister will resign, okay? and the government will fall. So the op op option is B. So PM resigns if he lose loses the majority in the house. Is a convention and not mentioned in the constitution. Convention are unwritten practice which are binding on the three organs of the state. Unlike the president, the prime minister does not have a fixed tenure. The full term of the president is five years, which coincides with the normal life of the Lok Sabha. However, uh, the term uh, can end sooner if we lose the vote. Of con confidence in the lower house, so it can be said that he remains in power as long as he, he enjoys the confidence of Lok Sabha. Obviously, the president, uh, the prime minister, can also resign by writing to the president. Uh, there are no term limit, term limits of the office of the prime minister. Uh, there, there is also no official retirement age. Okay, so this is actually you know it's talking about uh, prime minister. So there is no कोई you know, age नहीं होता है उनके retirement का and उनके term का भी कोई नहीं होता है कितना भी term के लिए बन सकते हैं and obviously uh, if I mean you know Lok Sabha is still for five years so before five years if somehow you know, like if it is coalition government uh, one party you know जैसे छोड़ दी उसी में उनको अलग party में चली गई so what will happen there there their MPs will you know, fall down from you know the majority. So if once the majority will come down, then there will be floor test. I think recently we have seen in the you know no confidence motion kind of thing. So uh, in the no confidence motion kind of thing, so uh, you know government or prime minister has to show the majority. So if so let's say if they will not show the majority, then he has to resign. So once he will resign, the government will fall. You know entire cabinet has to resign. So this is nothing but I mean related to you know prime minister. Or the term of Lok Sabha. So the answer is B. Next, uh, which one of the following is the part of electoral college for the president, but not the forum for his impeachment? Okay, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, State Legislative, Legislative Council, State Legislative Assembly. Actually, D. Uh, State Legislative Assembly. Okay, not the forum of. Impeachment. Okay, it's not the forum. Please remember. So, uh, state legislature. Okay. According to the article 54, electoral college.
College of President includes elected member of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and State Legislative Assemblies under Article 61. The member of State Legislative Council do not take part in the process of election. So, in the election, they participate in the process of election, but they cannot participate in the impeachment of President. So, that's why the answer is next. Which one of the following statement about duties of Prime Minister is correct? Is free to choose his minister only from the among members of either House of Parliament? Can choose his cabinet after consulting the President of India? Has full discretion in the choice of choice of person who are to serve as minister in his cabinet? Has only limited power? In the choice of his cabinet colleague because of discretionary power vested the president of India. So it is actually C has full discretion in the choice of person who are serve as minister in the in his cabinet. Okay, so I think you can you can see these things from you know from the uh, news itself. Like uh, you have found that I mean you can easily see that sometime you know this guy is you know. The railway minister. Then after six months, maybe after one year or two years, the person will change. Okay, like you can remember that uh, during COVID time, the Harsh Vardhan was the uh, uh, health minister, but later uh, he, has, he has been changed in you know, Ansof Mandi or something like that. Okay. So, so this is actually is done by the prime minister. He can you know suffer any time any to anybody, but obviously from the uh, there. Members of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Okay, so this is the thing. So Prime Minister has complete discretion to the choice to choose his ministers in the cabinet, not necessarily from the two House of Parliament, but can also choose any other person. That person should become member of either house within six months from the date to enters. The office. Okay, so this is the end of uh, the constitution first part from the year of you know, 1996, 1995, and 1996 question. Uh, I will come up with the more year question for, for the constitution.